Hello, I'm Shikin. Welcome back to Ras Aquaculture. For those who follow our shrimp update, at the end of 2020, we have harvested our Baname shrimp culture in Bioflock. Thank God we had a good result for the harvest. Our team is excited to share with you our Bioflock design and equipment that we use for last year culture. Let's continue to watch until the end of this video to know more about this. Let's talk about the tank. We use a 4,000 liter canvas tank for this design with a galvanized iron frame. This tank has been used for over one year with approximately for three grow out cycles. From what we observe, the tank surface was easy to clean although some of the biofilm occurs at the tank side, it can be easily rubbed. On the other hand, the tank frame needs to grind and repaint every time after tank disinfection. This is crucial to make sure it can last long with less rust. As you can see here, our team is currently repainting the tank frame. Assembling and disassembling the tank with this kind of frame is not that difficult as you can just remove and insert the connector. Compared to other tanks we had bought previously, it provides a button to lock the frame. What we realize is that over time, the button will become rusty and cannot lock the frame properly. Like what you can see here. The next equipment is for solid removal. In Bioflock, you need both a settling tank and protein skimmer. This is to make sure you have a low total suspended solid inside your bioflot water. Settling tank function to remove the big solid as settable solid, while the protein schema will remove the small particle or suspended solid. It is crucial to know where to position both of these equipment. Take note that the submersible pump needs to be placed at the place where we know where the solid will be accumulated. Based on our design, solid will be accumulated in the middle. So, we place the pump there. The water will be pumped into the settling tank with a control flow rate and overflow to the protein schema tank before clean water goes back to the tank. It is important to control the flow rate so that you achieve your treatment volume. Another important piece of equipment is on the aeration process. This includes the blower and aerotube. For this design, we tied the aerotube to a PVC frame so that it will fit inside the tank and make good water circulation. As our tank is rectangular, our PVC frame also following the shape. One thing to remember when using aerotube is that they tend to float in the water. So, you need to use a weight to sink the tube. This aero tube usually comes in a roll. So, you need to cut it according to your design and connect them back together using a brass or plastic connector. This is what we are using. Two holes for the aero tube, one hole for the flexible holes coming from the blower pipeline. A lot of people have been asking us about the price, budget or cost for this kind of setup. Hence, we have updated our Bioflow ebook to include all the details and cost for every piece of equipment needed. Don't worry, this ebook is free of charge. You can have a look at the design and tell us your opinion. You can find the ebook link on the description. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give us like and subscribe.